I want to now bring them in. Linibe and Ziv Mahadani were at that party in southern Israel when they were attacked. And, you know, I can only imagine uh, what could have happened. So were you at the party just for a confirmation? Uh, what exactly happened? What unfolded, if you can tell us? And I understand to reiterate it, it's not easy. But if you can possibly explain to us. There since uh, Friday night. Till uh, the rocket starts on the 6.30, something like that. We went to pack our things uh, to, get ready to, to get ready to move. Uh, we waited for our... Um, there was someone who was supposed to, to come and pick us up. And um, I don't know, half, half an hour later, it started to... The rockets like became harder and uh, faster. Uh, so we just knew that we have to move. And so we started to run. Yeah. And, hide. and after we understand that nothing is changing and we started to hear um, like uh, gun shots and not just missiles. Uh, so we started to run faster inside like um, trees of, you know, um, Fruit trees, like when, when it's uh, crowded, crowded trees. Are you still with me? I, we can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Cool. Um, so you ran for like, uh, I don't know, an hour, maybe 40 yeah. minutes. 40 minutes. Until when they said that uh, also like always through the run, we try to, to look at the map, like where we're going, because the party was really near... Um, the near Gaza, near the border. So we didn't want to like run and then get to, we don't know where. Uh, so at some point we understood that we can't keep keep going. So we um, we just found the like the the nearest tree that that, that was there, which it was like big, like some kind of big mushroom, uh, mushroom tree, <laughs> not a mushroom. So we just like went into it. Uh, we were me, Ziv. Uh, and three of our friends and um, a couple that we didn't know. So all the seven of us were uh, under the tree. Lilian Ziv, you know, what I'm trying to understand here is you're at a party. You're enjoying yourself. Of course, nobody expects such an attack. And when this happens, did you suddenly realize what, what was unfolding, uh, that, that this is not really a part of the party, this is a terror attack that's taking place on your people? How did that realization come in? How did the attack really start when these extremists managed to come close to all of you? When it started, we were still... I remember uh, it all started like like a regular, you know, missiles attack that we that we, 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 we know it from Israel. Zivi, he was born and raised here in, uh, in Be'er Sheva, in the south of Israel. They, you, you guys are, are yeah. it's, it's nothing new for us here. And that's, that's the way it felt uh, when it all started. So we were, we, were, we were like, we were cool, you know, when, when it started. We packed our things and we hugged each other and, and we waited like, even for like for like a few more minutes, we thought that you know the missiles will will over and the the, the music will be back back on and, and everything will be back to normal. Uh, and then when I mean it's it, it all happened. We don't even we still don't understand how uh, how it became so uh, quickly. And, and not just you, Lynn, you know, people across the world are literally numbed and in shock of what had unfolded. This could happen to anyone, anywhere, really. Uh, and I can only imagine the shock that you and your friends would also be in. It's not something that's easily forgotten for years. What impact could it possibly have left on you or your loved ones? We know many are still in captive. It's going to be a week now, children, elderly and women. How do people in Israel, how do people who've seen this, face this attack, would remember this. We understand, we understand now, and um, this this thinking of us it changed like through what happened to us. Um, if we thought that we we can live together until now, and you know to 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 go to a party and be safe in the party, 
and that um, we all live in this world, that we understand that there are innocent people and you should treat innocent people as innocent people, but we just, we understand that, that it's just not the way, it's, it's... it's just not possible. Uh, if, if we're like young people who wants to, to be in a party and it's not an option for us in, in our country, then I don't know. I mean, it just not make, make any sense that, that something like that would happen to really destroy like one of the most, uh, one of our most happy moments that we used to do and should like every young man or woman should do in, in, in their country and All I can say is that uh, Indians stand with Israel in this hour of terror attacks that, uh, are, that the country and your people have faced. And uh, perhaps we hope for peace as well, both between Israel and Palestine, so innocent people are not targeted. I appreciate that, Levin Zin, that you decided to speak to us, speak to India today. Take care of yourself. Stay safe.